Hey guys, how's it going? Alright. I've got some evidence for you here that this shift is going to happen. Not only that it is going to happen in March 15th, but that it we already had a smaller one last year. Okay, look at this. This is earthquakes that happened a couple of days ago. Henning Kemner uploaded this video if you want to go to his channel and check it out. Look at this angle right here. Look at that angle of, of this chain of earthquakes right here. The comet right now is out in this direction and the Earth's axis is going in this direction right here. See that? Okay, there's that. Now, last year we had the Chile earthquake on February 27th. Okay? Michio Kaku, the astrophysicist, announced that the Earth's axis shifted last year when the Chile earthquake happened. He said it shifted three degrees. All right, look at this. This is the orbit of the comet that was sent to this person anonymously by an astronomer. Look where the comet is. Last year, Earth was in the same spot when the axis shifted three degrees and the Chile earthquake happened. The comet was just a little bit further that way. This is March 15th when the Earth aligns with the comet and the sun. Last year, when the Earth's axis shifted three degrees, like the astrophysicist is telling us. The Earth was about right here at the end of February and the comet was just a little bit further that way because it was south, it was, it's coming up from this direction as you can see its orbit goes like this but it's coming at a very steep incline from south of the ecliptic so it's just a little bit that way there's going to be another shift this year, you guys. Okay, let me show you this. Alright, this is the explosion that just happened at the mine in Colombia. Alright, listen to the wording that was in the script that was given to this broadcaster to say. Listen to the wording. Officials now say all 21 workers are dead at the mine in the northern part of the country. The blast came during a shift change. The blast came during a shift change. Did you catch that? The blast came during a shift change. Now, most people are going to assume that, that he's talking about a shift change in the workers' schedules. But... That wording was put in there on purpose so that the part of the population that wants to ignore the evidence doesn't have to hear it. And the people who understand what's going on, who are paying attention, will get the message. Now, the way I'm getting the message is that the axis of the Earth is already starting to jolt a little bit. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. And the gas, you know, there's there was the gas explosion in Ohio also. And that's caused by changes in the earth. That's why these explosions are happening. That's why the earthquakes are happening, etc. Um, just to give you another uh, diagram here. This is where we are right now. The comet is out here. When we get to March, the comet will be in perfect alignment with the sun and the earth. And uh, just to reiterate, 
This is the angle of this. These are recent earthquakes just a couple of days ago in a straight line in alignment with the gravitational pull of this object. So I want to recommend to you guys that you take your family and go on a camping trip in March. If you can, take a two-week vacation and go to the mountains at the beginning of March. If you can't take two weeks, take one week and get get away from the coasts and the faults and go up to the mountains on the opposite side of where the coast is and just have a nice vacation and if I'm wrong then it didn't hurt you it just got you got you out got you to have a nice vacation you need a vacation anyway so uh, you don't even have to tell anybody why you're doing it but I, I hope that at least you can see that what I'm saying has logic to it um, I know that some people don't want to listen to the spiritual stuff so I won't talk about it in this video but I'm not a religious person and yeah the military is using technology and they're testing on me um, but the point is that there's something going on. It's obvious. There's evidence for it. I'm trying to show you the evidence. And um, who knows? Maybe it's scientists. Maybe there are scientists communicating this information to me. Okay? I don't. I don't really know. Their technology is so advanced, you guys. They have synthetic telepathy. It's called synthetic telepathy. Um, look, I'm just trying to show you what's been shown to me, regardless of how I got the information. Can you see it? Can you see that it makes sense? Um, and, you know, the, the scientists, they are making announcements and they are warning you. Michio Kaku just came out again recently again to say that to warn that Yellowstone is due for an explosion this is not a coincidence he's doing this for a reason they don't want to alarm the people that want to stay in the dark but they want to warn the people who can see what's going on who have the smarts to recognize that there's something happening on the earth. So, um, get sober, flush your pills down the toilet, stop smoking. Um, it's going to make you weak. That's going to make you weak. You got to get off that stuff. You got to, you got to get healthy. And you got to be sober. There's a reason why it says that in the Bible. They're talking to us. That's why I've I've become spiritual because I realized that the the stories in the Bible are are happening right now. That was sent. Those messages were put in there for us for these times. So, um, good luck. And one more thing I wanted. To point out to you is that this person here received this orbit from an anonymous astronomer on 9-11 and the comet is scheduled to reach perihelion also in September so I'll show you one last time the path of the comet according to this person and you can see from this that the comet passes in between Earth and the Sun in September of this year. That's September 2011, 9-11. And so I don't think it's a coincidence. I think that someone was trying to warn us because they've known for a long time. In fact, they've known for hundreds of years.
that this was coming and they've been preparing very well for it. There's one more thing I want to point out before I play this for you one last time. I don't know if you can see it very well, but the path of the comet, which is right here, is blank until right here. This is where the actual line becomes visible. See that? I, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can. And I'll post the link again so you can find it yourself. But you can see the path of the comet is written out here clearly, and it stops right there, and then it's blank. Um, and I believe the reason for that is, like I said, the comet is coming up from south of the ecliptic. So I believe that what they're telling us, what this astronomer is telling us, is that the comet is going to pass through the ecliptic right here. I can see clearly on mine, very clearly. I, I moved this to, I moved the comet to the exact location where the line, the green line starts. And it's on March 4th. So at the beginning of March, the comet is going to break through the ecliptic. That's what this tells me. So just as a quick recap, the comet breaks through the ecliptic at the beginning of March, and the alignment with Earth, which is when I was told the pole shift will happen, is around the middle of March, around the 15th. So I will play this for you now. This is the comet, this is Earth, and this is the date.